So guys, so I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Um, this is just a module uh, for the Raspberry Pi and the Smart Mirror, the Magic Mirror. I made a previous video of how to set up a Magic Mirror from scratch with Google Assistant. And you'll notice if you actually look at the different modules, if you go back to the um, repository, and close that out because I don't have any more issues with that. Um, pretty much there's all kinds of modules in the Magic Mirror library. And if you go back to the, um, the base of the repository, the root of the repository on GitHub, you can actually look at third-party modules and there's all kinds in here. And so just out of curiosity, I was hoping to get temperature. And there's a few of them in here, but there was one in particular that I was using my sensor that I had just sitting around to actually uh, display the temperature uh, inside my house. And it was not this one. It was this one right here. I found it actually when I was doing a Google search, I believe. And I looked up like Magic Mirror Raspberry Pi temperature sensor. And lo and behold, the same exact sensor that I had was in this um, demonstration. I'm doing it with a Raspberry Pi 3. This is a Raspberry Pi 2, it looks like. Um, and basically, you just need some jumper wires that go from your Raspberry Pi uh, from the 3.3 volt. If you have one temperature sensor, that is, and you have um, the ground right here, and then this is basically what's transferring the data. And it goes to um, the GPI GPIO pin number four, okay? And then you've got a resistor here. It's a 4.7, I believe, ohm resistor. And I used a 5.1. Uh, you can use a 5.1, uh, that's okay. And then right here, this is the temperature sensor, which it actually looks a lot different than this the temperature sensor. It's on a long cable. Um, the model number of it is right here, actually. Um, but up at the top here, you can see it tells you all the different things that you need. The breadboard just makes it easier. And then ultimately, um, you just have to install this library. It's pretty simple. Um, and I think it's up here at the top. Yep. So after you've already got Magic Mirror set up, and if you don't know how to do that, just go to my previous video. Then you go into this directory right here, and then you clone this repository, and then you're going to do an npm install. If you don't have npm installed, make sure you do a sudo app get install or whatever, you know, um, installer you're using, you know, make sure to install npm. Okay. And then down here, you see this stuff and it might be a little bit confusing. Well, whenever you install a third party or another module to add more features to your magic mirror, you have to go into this file right here. So I'll show you real quick. Basically, I'm just, I'm not logged into my Raspberry Pi right now, but I'll just show you. Basically, I'm going to log into it. And then when I log into it, you want to go like this and just go into the Magic Mirror directory. And then you'll notice when you actually look in here, there's a config folder. And so you're going to go config. And then here, we're going to want to edit the config file. So we're going to go into that file. And it's JavaScript. We're going to go down here to where the modules are. This is where the modules start right here. Okay, and then basically you copy and paste whatever, what is ever, whatever is in the, you know, module that you're looking at in GitHub, whether it's this one or another one. You go in here and you look at where they say, this is what you want to add to your config file. Okay, and so I'm adding this. Um, and basically I just copy and pasted it. And then I noticed this is actually for two sensors. I'm only using one sensor. So I removed this line here and then I actually removed all of this, this whole block. And then I removed this comma because we're not going to add another sensor. And so you remove that comma. And basically um, what you do down here is you do some, some defining and some parameter changes. Now in here, the one thing that I noticed was um, he just had a um, parameter or a sensor that was defined. And down at the bottom of this, when you go further down and you do the installation, you set all this up and you follow the instructions, you reboot your Pi, you have to add a couple other modules and edit the config file, uh, your boot file. Um, you have to add a couple of things here. It's really simple. I mean, it takes literally like 15 minutes. And then when you go down here, it looks for your sensor and it gives you the actual um, number of your sensor. And so, after you've like rebooted and everything like that, you've added this into the module here. 
basically when you run that, it brings back the number of your sensor. You want to add that in. So up here in the config file where you've added that snippet of code, you want to change this out with that number that is returned right here, just this guy, okay? And then after you do that, and you, let's say you do PM2 restart the um, magic mirror, it should show up in the top right, okay? Um, but you'll notice here too, you can test out your sensor. Whoops. So I'm just going to test this out. And you'll see it returns 23. That's, that's Celsius. Okay, it's bringing back it's 23 degrees Celsius right now. All right, and so um, ultimately when you're all done, those instructions, please do not use black tape like I did right here. I was just lazy and wanted to set this up quick. There's the breadboard and I followed those instructions to the T. There's the temperature sensor. You'll see up in the top right after you've rebooted your Raspberry Pi and it starts, um, it's going to load up in the top right. It takes a little bit of time to load the temperature. Um, and you'll notice it's showing Fahrenheit because I'm over in the United States and I wanted to change that, okay? And so to do that, I actually had to go back into the config file, all right? And then what I did was right here, we're going to add another line. And so you remove this comma, or actually keep that comma in there, and you hit enter, and then tab in to the same spot. And then right below here, you put units, and then you put in the same syntax, basically colon, and then some parentheses uh, calling out imperial because down here it tells you the accepted values and so right here it tells you you can change it to fahrenheit by putting in imperial and so when i was done pretty much what i did was sorry i wish i was uh, faster and i thought of a better process to do this but i'm kind of slow and i do things a little differently so i apologize about that in advance but when you go into here, you can see that I've added unit imperial to change it to Fahrenheit. And then when I actually um, just restarted, and what I mean by restarting that, you can reboot your Raspberry just by going through the reboot, but it takes so long to do that. You just do PM2, restart, and, then, and I have mine called MM1. But when you actually install the Magic Mirror module, um, it is called MM. So you might have your, your actual um, app name defined as MM, but mine is defined as MM1 because I did some adjustments to my uh, Magic Mirror when I had reinstalled it on here. But you see it just re reboots it, and then in the top right it's going to change. Originally it was showing 23.6 or something like that, and it changed it to Fahrenheit. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm solder those wires and try to beautify my Magic Mirror. So it looks a little better than having a breadboard that's sitting on top of it with a resistor and a bunch of wires coming out of it. Um, and then I'll just go from there, but I just wanted to show everybody how you can add a really simple uh, temperature sensor to your magic mirror in literally uh, 15 minutes time. You just have to make sure to follow the instructions in here and edit that config file and change a couple of the parameters and, and the properties in here, and then you should be good to go. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep an eye out for more. Take care.